Hey, what's up everybody? Cruz Ramos here with Dungeon Boxing Club. In my past videos, I've spent some time focusing on the physical side of the boxing training, but today I wanna focus a little bit more on the mental side of things, which I believe is just as important, if not more, when it comes to your boxing training. So I got three points I wanna share with you today. Stick around, you don't wanna miss this. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. Now the points that I'm about to share, I don't believe are specific for fighters only. I believe us as coaches can also apply this to our own personal training or to the training that we provide to others. So number one, you have to know your why. There has to be something deep inside of you that'll keep you coming back to the gym day after day. Cause the truth of the matter is, there's gonna be days when the training is hard. There's gonna be days when you wake up and you just don't feel it. But when you know your why, it's gonna push you through those barriers to take your training to the next level. So at our gym, we work with a lot of troubled youth. Now I can't get into specifics in this video here, but a lot of these kids literally feel like they have no other option but to fight for a better future. So they keep showing up through these doors because it is here at this gym that they feel valued. It is here at this gym they feel important. It is here at this gym that they really feel like they can do something with their life. And that's why they continually show up day after day and put in the work because we believe in them and they begin to believe in themselves. As a coach, I love to see the transformation in the life of others. I have a burning passion for my city and that is my why. That is why I keep opening these doors because when I can see a child go from broken to feeling like they can actually do something with their lives, then my job is done. I feel content. I feel complete. And that's what motivates me. That's what keeps me showing up. That's what keeps me moving forward because I love to see the transformation in the life of those around me. Number two, what are you willing to sacrifice? Once you know your why, you have to understand that you're going to have to make sacrifices to get to where you want to go in life. For my fighters, they understand that they cannot be out partying all night. That's a sacrifice they have to make because they have to be up early in the morning to get their road work in. They understand that their body is the tools of their trade. So if they don't take care of their temple, they're not gonna be very successful in the ring. That means they can't drink, they can't smoke, they can't eat any junk food. That's a sacrifice that they have to make to ensure their success. As a coach, I stay away from watching TV. I don't watch TV that much, okay? What I do do is I watch fighting video on my laptop or I spend a lot of time reading. This betters me, this gives me the tools to feed my children. That's one of the sacrifices I have to make. So my why is I love to see the transformation in the fighters that I work with. So I sacrifice my weekends at times to get them to the tournaments, to get them to the match bouts because I wanna see them succeed. So once you know your why, you have to understand that you will need to make sacrifices to get to where you wanna go. And number three is you have to put in the hard work. There is absolutely no way around this one. Once you know your why, once you understand that you have to make sacrifices, number three is you have to put in the work. For my fighters, they understand that they have to show up to every session and work their butts off in order to ensure their success in that ring. One thing I teach them is, you give me a half-ass workout, you're gonna get a half-ass result. And part of my language, but that's just the reality of the situation. There's no way around it. There's not a whole lot that can be said about this point other than you just have to show up and put in the work every single day. For us as coaches, it's the same thing. Whether we're studying video, whether we're reading, whether we're physically training ourselves to ensure that we're healthy, that when we continually feed our fighters, you have to put in the work. And number four, now I know I said there was only three points, but I had to sneak this last one in because this is the one that motivates me every single day when I get out of bed. So number four is you have to trust that God has a plan for your life. Now, if you don't believe in God, that's okay. I believe and trust in him enough for the both of us. One thing I understand clearly is that 
We are where we're at today because God designed it this way. It's not because I know boxing. It's not because I'm a halfway decent coach. It's not because I'm a good people person. No, we are where we're at today because God knew that he could trust me with this call that he put on my life. He can trust me with this club that he gave us. He can trust me with the kids that he draws in. So it is because of him that where we at today and what God puts together, no one, no one can tear apart. And that's a wrap for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just to review real quick the four points that I shared. One, you have to know your why. Two, you have to be willing to make the sacrifices. Three, you have to put in the hard work. And four, is you must trust that God has a call on your life. I hope this video was informative for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do me a huge favor, if you would hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back next week with another video.